Good afternoon everyone and welcome to another video on the Freedom Seekers channel, the place where I am sharing my freedom journey and where you can learn to become your own boss by using Amazon as your launching pad. In today's video, I'm so excited to share with you how I was able to gross nearly $270,000 my very first year selling on Amazon. So in this video today, I'll just be giving a, a summary of my overall journey into Amazon FBA, such as how I got started, um, uh, when I got started, how much money I started with, and what the, the future looks like for my journey in this realm. So let's get to it. So how did I get started? Now, I've always aspired to be my own boss, and I've tried many different ways to make money in this digital age. I remember when I was in college, I made mobile apps on the side, and I would make money from them by enabling ads in them. I also, there was one time when a friend, well, a friend and I tried to start our own software company, um, which, which didn't quite work out, um, to say the least. We didn't even um, get to a beta. So really, for a long time, I have been a hustler, always trying to do things to earn a side income, whether it be when I was in college or outside of my 9 to 5 job. But the one thing that I have had the most success with and which has come the closest to replacing my 9 to 5 job is selling on Amazon. So how exactly did I get started with Amazon FBA? As usual, I was on the hunt for ways to make money online and coincidentally, or not, on Facebook I saw an ad for a webinar which teaches you about selling on Amazon. And I said coincidentally or not because Facebook knows so much about us, you would be surprised. Anyway, I watched the entire webinar about two hours long and got inspired to give their course a try. I think I paid maybe about $397 for it. Now, of course, I had my doubts about the 60-day money-back guarantee they offered for their course was really a no-brainer. I knew that if my product did not sell, um, I could liquidate them somehow and get my money back for the course. So I, I took that plunge and, and gave it a try. Another question that people might ask me is, when did I start selling? Now, having bought the course in September of 2016, I actually did not follow the teachings in it for around two months. And this was really bad on my part. But the thing is, I was so excited and eager about this new business model called FBA that I almost immediately went on Alibaba.com and order the cheapest product I could find that I thought would work. So I ordered, uh, I think it was 200 cell phone kickstands for about 300 US dollars and had them Air Express shipped to my home. Now I bought uh, my laser printer and slapped on the FNSQ on them and, and, shipped in, and shipped them into Amazon. Um, the thing is, I, I didn't do any research at all. Well, I mean, I did a, a, a slight amount of research. You know, just look at, I went on Amazon and saw that, hey, cell phone kickstands are selling pretty well. But I really didn't do any other type of research other than the fact that I saw that they really, they were pretty cheap to source. Uh, I think they were about 60 cents each or something like that. Some really, really cheap price. And I just got it in as soon as I could. Um, but that was a mistake and with a selling price of about six dollars and a profit margin of maybe a dollar at best That product was a mistake. So my first real launch was in January of 2017 after the lesson of my failed cell phone kickstand I went back to the drawing board and followed the course to the letter The process was pretty simple overall. So in a nutshell, I did my product research found a product and a manufacturer in the US, 
got my label designed with my own brand, placed my order, created my product listing, and started selling. There are a lot of details in between, but that was the general idea. Things were kind of slow at the start. And actually, let me pull up um, the my Seller Central uh, report. And let me just go back to January 1st, 2017 to December 31st of 2017. And you'll see in January, things were kind of slow to start. You know, there was no sale on January 1st. But then, you know, things kind of picked up over time um, as I kept launching new products in the following months my sales took off and the results speak for themselves so you can see in April May things really really picked off 50 odd units a day 60 odd a spike of over a hundred you know things really really picked off and and as you can see for the entire year total sales was over $268,000. Now I caution you uh, and remind you that this is sales and not profit. Uh, so I didn't have $268,000 in my pocket or bank account. That's what, um, those are the total sales. Profit margin, uh, and this is somewhere that I can improve. Profit margin was not the best that you you can hope for in a product i think for mine it was maybe around 25 percent which is on the low end when you source products you, you want to have a profit margin of closer to 50 percent and so that's a lesson that i've learned and i'm going to improve on that for future product launches but as you can see um in one year that's a pretty epic amount of money to make from starting from scratch another thing i want to show you is that the bulk of my sales came in the last eight months of the year. So in from April to December, that's over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So in so this is the power of Amazon FBA. In eight months, I was able to do nearly a quarter of a million dollars in sales. Guys, this is just incredible. And if you have any doubts, now is the time to get in. Don't wait. Um, you know, Amazon is growing. The market opportunity is there. You just need to jump in and take action. So another question uh, people might ask is, how much did I spend to get started? So basically, um, after my official launch in January, uh, it was about 40 bucks for the Amazon Seller Central account. Uh, about $45 for designing my label and uh, my first order was for 300 units and that was 1200 US dollars and then shipping costs about $70 um, so all in all that was like less than $1500 to get started on 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 Amazon this is just amazing now, of course I did spend some money on marketing and PPC to get ranked um, so when you're launching, you have to always remember to also have some money set aside to help with some marketing efforts, whether it's running ads or running giveaways or for doing um, sponsored ads and on the Amazon website itself. So as you can see, pretty straightforward there. So and another thing to mention is I learned from this experience uh, over the last year because, you know, as I, as I showed there, my very first order was 300 units and since then um, I have put my minimum order quantity to about a thousand units if I'm very sure about the market I'm getting into and the product I'm launching I go ahead and get at least 1,000 units um, if I'm not too sure I get maybe 500 units but 300 is too low because if you did your product research right you will start selling right away and you are going to run out of stock so just to be on the safe side, um, do your product research, do your due diligence and order a sufficient quantity for your very first order. So um, to kind of wrap things up here, in simple terms, fulfillment by Amazon is using Amazon's platform to manage the sales and shipments of your products. You basically source your products, ship them into Amazon and let Amazon handle the shipping and fulfillment of your orders.
another thing that you might be wondering, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, is that um, is do you need a course to start? The short answer is no, but buying and following a course greatly increases your chances of being successful and not only to be successful but to do so more quickly things move fast and of course you can learn everything on your own by researching on the internet watching youtube videos and so on but following the guidance and the community support that a course provides will help you get to your goals a lot faster besides think of a course as an investment and most people will make back that money on their very first product order to wrap wrap up this video what are the key takeaways key takeaways are key takeaways are take action don't be afraid to take the leap of faith and try Amazon FBA for yourself with so many people being successful selling on Amazon myself being an example the time to act is now. Product research is a must. It all starts with finding and sourcing a good product. Once you, you do that, most other things will fall into place. Reinvest your initial profits into launching new products and expanding current products. When I first launched my product, I didn't take a penny. I kept reinvesting it investing the profits into launching subsequent products and and that's one of the surefire ways to keep growing your business and to scale and that is to keep launching new products but you need capital you need money to do that and when you first start out don't take anything off the table just put back that cash that you get back into your amazon business so i hope that you enjoyed this video that you got some inspiration and value from it and that you will take action. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel below and turn on notifications so that as soon as I release new videos that you will uh, be notified. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop it in the comments section below. And if there are any topics that you want me to cover, if there's anything else you want me to go more in depth into also feel free to mention that as well see you on the next video and remember that freedom is not just for tomorrow but also for today